Hi, how are you? What a great joy again meeting you. Thank you for choosing an amazing channel. Thank you. Um, Shavi Hamulenga, today I have an amazing guest. Please introduce yourself. Hey, hey guys, this is Zanzu Jimmy Mitayango. It's a pleasure being here on this channel and I hope you guys get lots of value in these videos that we make. Oh, tell us, Zanzu, you're from Canada. Tell yes. us about yes. Canada. <laughs> Yes, yes, I am from Canada and uh, uh, I've had the, the honor and God has blessed us to be able to live in Canada for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. and a pleasure to be able to come back to my homeland and uh -huh. visit and see it. It's been amazing. So it, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just a blessing to be here. That's great. To do this. Yes. Now, I want us to talk about Canada because you know we're in Africa and uh, <laughs> many young people dream to go to abroad. Tell us life about Canada. Life abroad. Mm -hmm. I mean, life abroad is uh, it's it's not what people expect. It's uh -huh. uh, yes, there is lots of opportunities. And yes, yes, there's yes. lots of opportunities. Uh -huh. And there's lots of challenges too. Just mm -hmm. like it's like everywhere, the way I can say and I look at it is uh -huh. everywhere you go, everywhere you live, there, you're going to have the challenges mm -hmm. and you're going to have the opportunities. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just at the end of the day, it's like how are you looking at it and how you uh, how you look, how you going to face uh -huh. all of those, uh -huh. right? When everybody's in front of you. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes, down there, it's it's amazing. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I've enjoyed it. I've been there as the longest i think it's like over 20 years now uh -huh. i left when i was a kid uh -huh. um and that's mainly, mainly that's when that's all i know is being abroad uh -huh. and being back in my home country and seeing how people live and how things are here and i i enjoy it i enjoy meeting the people that i haven't seen in over 20 years uh -huh. and it's been it's just been a pleasure tell me something about culture shock when you went to canada what's something that Shocked you when you were coming from <laughs> Africa. Ooh, what shocked me in when I was in Canada? Yes. I would say, so here's the thing. I was about 10 years old. Uh -huh. And things out there, uh -huh. um, at least where I'm based, it's the weather change. Like, uh -huh. so the weather changes uh -huh. to to like this beautiful at the because we got there around like it was summertime mm -hmm. and then after that they got fall mm -hmm. so fall is where you got these trees the trees just change colors mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. trees are green mm -hmm. all summer round and then all of a sudden they start changing colors they start to become orange mm -hmm. red mm -hmm. and you're like what me the kid in me is like what is going on here yeah you know, it's like, it's like all I knew was trees that was green. Oh, the, sun, were green the, yeah. sun, the sun was shining. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Some rain here and there, but nothing like this, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and then after that, you have the winter. Mm -hmm. And that is probably the most, uh, for me, mm -hmm. at least that was the most shocking part. I was like, whoa, what is this? Because obviously, I knew nothing about winter. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. Like I said, I was 10 years old, never seen anything like that. So, mm -hmm. it to me, that was kind of like, okay, a little bit out of this world because mm -hmm. I just, it just, don't grow up mm -hmm, seeing mm -hmm. those kind of things yes. in, from like uh, from Congo. I uh -huh. did not see any of those things, so uh -huh. it was great. And uh, but in terms of culture shock wise, mm -hmm. being younger, guess for me, it mm -hmm. really helped because I really there was not really much because I was still young, so uh -huh. I quickly adapted. Mm -hmm. But as an adult now, I, as I can see that there is a lot of culture differences mm -hmm. in terms of like how how you look at everything how you look at like mm. uh, parents uh, how parents are and how parents look at you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and because how i've seen kids that have lived abroad mm -hmm. like born canadian born mm -hmm. kids mm -hmm. how they are with their parents and it's just it's just a whole different than how we do it uh back home right right but right. but um as for for me mm -hmm. being born he, uh, from Congo, mm -hmm. it was easy for me to keep obviously the culture. But sometimes mm -hmm. it's it can be hard to like change that and mm -hmm. to it can be hard to adapt to that. I, mm -hmm. As somebody that is old enough, mm -hmm. like say if you're like older, like over like twenty, mm -hmm. and you you went abroad, you'll definitely feel the culture shock. You'd be like, whoa, this is not, this is something that this is absolutely good, good. different than what I. Because I want to understand how to move to Canada. Because uh, 
many young people who want to go there. What is some how can someone go to Canada? Is it hard? Is it impossible? Is it possible? What are some other ways? So right now, since obviously everybody knows we're in the mix of this whole thing called coronavirus mm-hmm. pandemic, mm-hmm. it's a little bit not easy, I would say. I don't uh not that I have ever looked into the process mm-hmm. of get how to get to there, mm-hmm. but I know it's uh it's uh quite a process though, mm-hmm. and I it's something maybe that right now I may not have the answers, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. uh along the line mm-hmm. maybe with like my channel mm-hmm. uh I may like once I have more details on it mm-hmm. I can go over something like that on my channel and uh because right now I, I honestly won't be able to give a correct mm-hmm. answer on how, how to move how to move to Canada. Canada. Because there are yeah, those people who want to go there as students, maybe who want yes. to, to start there. Yeah. There are those people who want to go there for job. Please make sure you prepare something for uh, viewers on how someone can be able to move to Canada and uh, what are some of the opportunity and uh, what are some of the advice. Because there are people who always go there, sometimes they get shocked. The people who go there, I don't know, what can you tell someone who is coming from Africa? What are some of the things that, uh, or how do you need to prepare? Come in with an open mind. Come with an open mind. Come okay. in with an open mind. Just don't even, just be open to what you will find, find and there. see. Mm-hmm. Because if you come in with the mindset of like, okay, this is what I know, mm-hmm. and then because when you get there, you'll be shocked. Mm-hmm. Or if this is what I have been told that this is how it is here, mm-hmm. you will be very shocked. Mm-hmm. So I would say forget everything that you've ever heard about being abroad mm-hmm. and just coming in with an open mind mm-hmm. and be open to probably a whole lot of new things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because it's, yeah, it's. You also one need to be open minded yes. and that to be able to be willing to learn and. Uh, maybe also to know why you went there. Yes. Yeah, because uh, the people who, we see that people go there, they forget what uh, they want to do there. Mm-hmm. And uh, what are some of the things that you can be able to advise the young people who have dreams? Maybe they have dream to, to do this and that in life. I'll advise keep pushing forward. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, my like my shirt like my shirt says keep mm-hmm. moving forward keep like, moving keep forward, moving forward. Uh-huh. it's like whatever goal or dreams or aspiration you may have in life mm-hmm. is keep moving forward because mm-hmm. you'll never know when your time will get when you when your blessing will arrive because mm-hmm. like keep moving keep forward. moving forward because like uh we a lot of people when they see somebody that's been successful mm-hmm. all they see is like okay Today, you just all of a sudden notice somebody has been successful, mm-hmm. but you do not know how many years yes, back mm-hmm. they have been working, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. struggling through things that you may not see. Mm-hmm. All you see is like overnight, oh, somebody's, whoa, what? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you did not see the work that they have put in mm-hmm, before mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I would say. Because, because there are people who have that mentality of quick fix. Mm-hmm. They want mm-hmm. to do it, do it now and get it now. Oh, you forget. What can you tell them? That's not how it works. You just, you gotta have, you mm-hmm. gotta put in the time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, quick success never lasts. Quick success never lasts. Why do you success think success the success, success quick success no, no, never <laughs> lasts? Why? Quick success never lasts. Because mm-hmm. anything that you do fast, it just, it, it doesn't have a foundation built to it. Well, There's no foundation well, built well, to well, it. Well, right? Uh-huh. Like, so if you don't have a foundation built to it, mm-hmm. then it's just gonna fall apart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, that's what that's the advice I'll give. It's like take your time, like, like go through the grind because it's it's gonna pay off mm-hmm. eventually. Mm-hmm. You just don't know when, but it will eventually pay off. Mm-hmm. Because many people you know, give up and uh, they, they lose hope. They don't know what to do. Yes. Uh, so you need to keep moving and also quick success yes. yeah. never last. And that's something that very very important that you need to understand. And uh, as a person, you have a dream. Keep moving, forward. keep moving forward, and then know you'll get the best. Thank you so much for watching. This is Shelby Hamulengia, and my guest is Sansu Jimeteango. Thank you guys very much for watching, and you guys can find myself and my wife on our channel, which is the 
the S and M. It's uh, very simple. Just the S, S the S N M, mm -hmm. and you can find us anywhere with that uh, name. What does it stand for? S. Oh, mm -hmm. the S name. That's uh, that's our name. So that's <laughs> like my wife Sarah, uh -huh. and my name Zanzu, uh -huh. and our last name is Nkayango. Uh -huh. yes, that's so great. So put together. So Zanzu, uh, Sarah, and Zanzu, Nkayango. That's yes, saying. thank you. Make sure you go to that channel. There are great things there. And remember that video on uh, how to move to Canada. You get it there on that channel. And also, I'll put a link on my, my channel on how you can be able to do that. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.